Welcome to Slide Egg. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar in PowerPoint. It's a simple trick, but it can really speed up your workflow. So, let's start. You've opened PowerPoint on a new computer, and you notice that the Quick Access Toolbar is usually at the top left corner of the screen. This toolbar is super handy because it gives you quick access to commonly used commands. Now, what if you want it below the ribbon for easier access? No problem. All you have to do is click the small down arrow next to the toolbar. From the menu that appears, select Show Below the Ribbon. Just like that, your toolbar moves, and now it's much easier to reach while you work. Next, let's talk about adding new commands to this toolbar. On the right side of the toolbar, you'll see another small arrow, click that. Then, select More Commands. A panel will open up, giving you a list of options to add. Let's say you want to add something, just pick the command you want and hit Add. That command will instantly show up on the right side of the toolbar. When you're done, click OK. And just like that, your Quick Access Toolbar is now customized with new commands that make your work easier. And if at any point you decide you don't need a particular command anymore, simply right-click on it and choose, Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. Easy, right? There's also another simple way to add commands. Let's say you're in the Insert tab, and you often use the Screenshot tool. Just right-click on it and choose, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Boom! It's now part of your toolbar below the ribbon. This method works for any tool, and customizing your PowerPoint toolbar like this saves you tons of time. Here's a quick example, if you insert a shape into a slide, the Quick Access Toolbar makes it super easy to align and format that shape quickly, without hunting for commands. And that's it. You've just learned how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar in PowerPoint. It's such a small change but can make a big difference in your workflow. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it helpful.